Other than five identical pens adjacent to each other with a total area of a thousand meter squares are shown in the bottom figure. What dimensions should you use to minimize the amount of fencing? Hmm. Interesting. You're building five identical pens. So they're all identical. So a total area of a thousand. So each one must be 200 meters squared. So, okay, how much fencing do we use? F for fencing. One, two, three, four, five, obviously. 10x. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six y. Okay, but the area, which equals x, y, has to equal 200. So that means the fencing will be 10x plus 6 times y, which is 200 over x. So the derivative will equal 10 minus 1200 over x squared needs to equal 0. So that means x squared has to equal 120. That means x will be root 120 and y will be 200 over root 120. And if we calculate the second derivative, we'll get uh, 10 plus 2400 over x cubed, which is a positive, which makes it a minimum. That one's done. All right, you are a manager of an apartment complex with 50 units. When you set the rate, the rent at 800, all apartments are rented. As you increase the rent by 25 a month, one fewer apartment is rented. Maintenance cost is 50 a month for each occupied unit. What is the rent that maximizes the amount of profit? Maybe I can squeeze it in here. So the profit, okay, what would that be? Uh, you have 50 units. So when you set the rent at 800 a month, all the apartments are rented. So that's 800 a month times 50. Okay. As you increase the rent by 25 a month, one fewer apartment is. As you increase the rent by 25 a month, one fewer apartment is rented. Okay, so you have 800. But every time you add 25 to it, you get one less occupant. So that would represent the profit. Maintenance cost is 50 a month for each occupied unit. So that would be minus 50 a month times each occupied unit. Now, N here does represents how many increases of 25 so each increase of 25 means one fewer. So uh, that again would be 50 minus n. Okay, so the profit formula here is quadratic, obviously. So 800 times 50. So that is 40,000 plus, and then it's 25 times 50 minus 800. So that's plus 450n plus, I know a minus has to be a minus 25 n squared minus 2500 plus 50 n. So the profit is minus 25 n squared plus 500 n and then 40,000 minus 2500. That's plus 37500. And the derivative equals minus 50 n plus. 500 n, uh, 500, it has to equal zero. So that means n has to equal 10. So it's 10 times 25, which is 250. So 250 added on to 800 is 1,050 a month. And the second derivative here, uh, it's obviously negative, which makes it the maximum. So 1,050, let's see. 355. Oh, where's the answer? What is the rent that maximizes the total profit? 355, where? You didn't give an answer. Where is my answer? 
Now, do they have the same equation? 50 minus x. times 800 plus 25x minus 50. Oh, okay, they, they put the 50 in here. Um, I wonder, that would have made the, would have made the multiplication easier? No, not really. Oh yeah, because you get 50 minus 50. Yeah, yeah, it's the same formula. Same formula, but no answer. Uh, answer of 1050 is not at the back. I should open a ticket about that. Okie dokie, that's that exercise finished, is it? Is it? I think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. All up the 355 done. Nice.